Hello guys, quite often I get a question like how to structure the database and specifically about relationships, polymorphic relationships or belongs to relationships. In this video we will compare them, test them practically, what is better, what is faster, what is more convenient and this will be based on a question I have, you can see that on the screen. So this is a situation, a uh, database can have calls and appointments and every call or appointment may be attached to lead or a customer or an operator or someone else. And the person asks what is the best structure? So first option is to have separate tables, calls for the leads, calls for the customers, calls for operators. Or have it all in one table with multiple foreign keys. And then there's a third option, polymorphic relations, but we will get to that. So first let's tackle this one. This one I wouldn't advise. Because if you need to populate one table of appointments for the week, you would need to query multiple tables. So you would have to union, join or something else, a complex structure every time you need to get all appointments. That structure makes sense only if that tables are really different. So lead appointments are different unique appointments with some unique columns for the lead appointments and then customer appointments would be somehow different with uh, a few more columns specifically for customers. So in that case it could be separate, otherwise I wouldn't advise that. So let's just cross that out and let's get to this one. Now the question is, should it be calls with lead ID, customer ID, operator ID as three belongs to foreign keys or polymorphic relationships with two columns, callable ID and callable type? And I've created a local demo project to test both of them. So we have database with appointments with three fields with belongs to relationships. Lead ID, customer ID and operator ID. And I've seeded 10,000 appointments to test the performance. So one of these is always present. So two others are null. So that's one way to structure. And for calls, I've tried polymorphic relationships. So instead of three fields, we have two fields, callable ID and callable type. Type is a class name of that model that calls belong to. Now, which is better? And there are three questions here, three sub questions. First, what is faster? So like if we get all appointments and all calls, which is faster? Second question is which is faster or more convenient to query? So use where statements in Eloquent and how to query by some name or something like that. So we will test that one. And third question, how convenient it is to change the structure. So add more fields or delete data or something like that. So that would be our third test. Actually, before we get into actual web project, let's compare the database size. Both of appointments table and calls table have 10,000 rows and appointments has size of five to eight kilobytes. That's how SQL Pro shows that. And calls, 1.5 megabytes. So as you can see, polymorphic relations is three times more in size. In fact, I'm not sure how it's calculated in SQL Pro because I've done export. So export to SQL, tried it also. And this is the result. The actual export in SQL is really similar. So polymorphic are only like a few percent more in size. So I'm not sure if that is accurate. So let's say just a random stat from SQL Pro. You can test that probably on your database. And now let's get to the web project I've built. Uh, I've installed Laravel debug bar to measure the queries. And there is a list of appointments, which looks like this, and list of calls, which looks like this. Almost identical. And let's see their performance. In controller, we load all appointments with three relationships and paginate. In, in appointment, we have three functions, so lead, customer, and operator, all of them belongs to, to their own respective class. And in calls, we have the same thing, but just in one relationship. So in call, we have polymorphic, which looks like this. So just morph two. The difference in the code is probably this one. So how to show customer or lead or operator in prefix. In the belongs to case, you have to basically do this. So if, and then show that field and show that name. In polymorphic, it's more convenient. So all you do is this. You get the class of that callable, some string manipulation to get rid of app, and then callable name. So it's more pretty in polymorphic case. But is it faster? So let's compare the queries. Appointments, 
Let's ignore the total time because it has some more logic in admin panel, but let's focus on the actual queries that we care about. So Laravel queries the appointments and then queries the count for the pagination. And then whenever the lead is found or the customer or the operator, there are three queries additionally to query the relationships. And those are pretty quick. So milliseconds, milliseconds, two milliseconds. Let's take a look at calls. So select from calls, select from calls, select from customer leads and operators. Guess what? The queries are identical. Maybe that time is a bit different, but in general structure of the queries is identical. So whenever you use polymorphic or belongs to in the just a list of records, the result should be almost identical. So in this case, there's no winner. Next test we will do is how to query the appointments or calls for specific lead or specific customer. So let's say we will have a parameter of like lead ID something or operator ID something and we need to show the calls for that specific person. And this is the code for the belongs to relationship. So I will use eloquent function when and I check when the request lead ID is present, we query by lead ID, otherwise by customer ID or operator ID. In calls controller, in polymorphic relationships, we can also use when, but then we need to query two things. We need to query callable ID and also callable type. And callable type is actually string, not an integer. And also this one doesn't have index on that. So in theory, it should be slower, right? Let's test it out. Okay, so query the appointments by lead ID. And this is what we get. Query the appointments by lead ID and the amount of that for pagination. Then we get this query for the relationship. And these two are pretty weird, right? We didn't query customers or operators, but in fact we did. When we are loading the appointments, we specify that we load with these relationships. And even if those relationships don't exist, they're still a query to the database. So this and this. So these two queries are called no matter what, but they are really, really small to be honest. So wouldn't worry about them too much. In polymorphic case, we have lower amount of queries, so we don't have those two extra queries. But as I said, we are querying by two fields, callable ID and callable type. And by default, none of them is indexed in the database. So in theory, it is slower. In this case, for this project, it's not that visible. But see, for belongs to, the query is 800 microseconds, so 0.8 milliseconds. For the polymorphic, it's 4, 5 milliseconds. So if you compare that in terms of percentage, it's significantly slower. And you can, of course, add indexes to the database to this one and test it out. But by default, polymorphic relations is slower to query. And let's try another query. Let's query not by lead ID or operator, but by name of a person who may be operator, lead, or customer. So let's say we will have calls and then query equals some name. And in case of belongs to relationship, we add this one. So when the request query is present, we do where has. It's an eloquent operation of querying the relationship. And in this case, we need to add three queries, where has lead with a name, or where has customer with a name, or where has operator with a name. In polymorphic case, the syntax is actually different. It's shorter, but I had to actually Google that, how to query that in polymorphic, and take a look at the syntax. Query where has more, so callable is the relationship, then you specify which relationships, which classes to include in that, so you can exclude something. It's pretty convenient, actually. And then you have one query where statement. Let's take a look at the queries and the performance. So for the belongs to relationship, this is the main query. So select from appointments where exist, and then three subqueries select from leads or select from customers or select from appointments or actually operators. And it is 42 milliseconds, quite heavy already. Let's take a look at the polymorphic way. And we have this. So select from calls where also three subqueries, but we have callable types called each time. So callable type is this or this or that. It's a pretty longer query, but in terms of the time spent, it's really similar. So 37 milliseconds versus 42 milliseconds. Actually, let's try it again. 35 in, actually 39 in belongs to, and 38 in polymorph. So it's really, really similar in this case. 
But in general, what I would say, it's more complex thing to query the polymorphic relation. So you have to know specific syntax for polymorphic relations. And if a query gets a little bit heavier, eloquent defaults would provide you the syntax. But in polymorphic relationships, you would probably likely would need to get to raw queries or DB query or something like that. And you wouldn't be able to use full power of eloquent. Okay, so that's querying the database and make your own conclusions on which is better or which is more convenient to you. Now, what if we want to add another field? So let's talk about the structure of the database and any changes in the future. Let's imagine we need to add a fourth field. I don't know, vendor ID or something. So lead, customer, operator, or vendor. And this is where polymorphic relations shine. This is the specific case why polymorphic was invented. So imagine for the belongs to relationship, you would need to add another method to the model of appointments. So vendor or something, then you need to add another new field in migration. Then in controller, you need to add with here. So vendor, then you need to add when request here, for example. And then in index blade, in if statement, you need to have this. So add another line here. Basically, whenever you have three cases, three ifs, you would need to add a fourth one. And this is where polymorphic is better because in call stable, nothing is changing. Structure is the same. You would just have another value of app vendor. So that's one thing you don't need to change. In the model of call PHP, no new method callable is still callable. In the controller, you don't need to change with statement. Probably a few things to add. So here when request and probably add here. So still some work to do, I agree. Uh, and then in index blade, in appointment, you have fourth if statement. In calls index, you change nothing. So I'll probably repeat myself, but polymorphic relationships, the best way to use them is if you predict in the future that there will be third, fourth, or fifth type of that data in the same table. On the final note of this video, I want to mention a drawback of polymorphic relations. Because polymorphic relations, I'm not sure if you are aware, they're not actually relationships on the database level. So if you look at the database structure, appointments, you can go to tab relations and they are all foreign keys to customers table, to leads or to operators. In calls, there are no actual relations. So those two are just fields in the database. And Eloquent or Laravel is artificially attaching them to each other on the application level, on Laravel level, but not on the database level. What does that mean practically? So on the database level, what if some lead or customer or operator is deleted? Then database foreign keys wouldn't allow to do that. So they would prevent on the database level, if I try to delete the lead that has appointments, database would either restrict that, or if you choose to cascade them, then delete the appointments automatically with that lead on the database level. In case of polymorphic relationships, if you delete the customer or the lead, nothing changes in this table. The data would stay and just kind of hang in the air. So there's no way to restrict the lead from being deleted if they have appointments. And there's no direct way in the database to cascade the deletion of appointments via foreign keys or database cascade. And there are packages for that, Laravel packages. There are cascades of deletes and stuff like that. But on the database level, it's not that easy. So that's it, my mini research, mini test on how both work. If you want to know more about polymorphic relationships or eloquent relationships in general, I have a course called Eloquent Expert Level, so you can check that out. Also, I have a special video about polymorphic relations specifically explained well for those who haven't used that. So the video is in the corner. Check that out. Also, subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting videos daily now. So it's totally worth to subscribe and see you guys in other videos.